Here's a little DIY drum riser project I built across the holidays. I surprised my drummer with it. Took me a few days to build it and here's from start to finish. Right here I'm using the drummer's rug to see what kind of footprint I needed. This is two sheets of plywood about 5 8 thick. Here you can see a 45 the corners on every corner all around the whole riser. So when it's on the stage, you could turn it either way. It don't have a front or back, so you don't have to waste time setting it up. Just a one by two all around the border of each piece of plywood to give it strength and stability and also added some steel um, 90 degree angles and bent them to fit uh, inside the corners just to give it more stability too. The whole drum riser sits on buckets. I know it's hard to believe, but man, it is strong. Um, I saw this idea online and I went with this idea because it's lighter uh, and it's really quick to set up. Um, we haul it in a trailer and I went with the two pieces that way we could slide it into the trailer as well. But yeah, it sits on buckets. I went with the Lowe's blue just to disguise it a little bit on the stage. The key thing here on the lids is make sure you spread your screws out. And I use washers to, to hold them down pretty good. Spread them out evenly uh, so the lid doesn't come up, you know, when you're taking them off. And also you have to take like a Dremel tool and individually each lid is go inside the ring, inside the rim of the, the lid and actually router out the locking uh, lip in there so it don't make the buckets real sticky to pull off. Um, that way they can come on and off real easy. This was my first time carpeting. I went with like an indoor outdoor carpet from Lowe's. Um, really easy to work with. Um, but cutting the corners was the most challenging part. And all I could say is just take your time, be real patient, and just watch your cuts real easy as you go along. I used a 3M90 uh, spray glue, which hands down is some of the best out there. Uh, if you go cheap on that glue, it's going to bubble up on you. So spend the extra money to get that glue because you'll love it in the long run. I probably put about a thousand staples all around the edge on the inside uh, edge of the riser there just to give it more stability and, you know, try to make it last as long as it, it can because, uh, you know, the wear and tear on the road, it's going to get beat up a lot. I ended up adding another bucket to each side to give it more stability, which is a total of 18 buckets, and put some handles in the center there where you can pick it up off the ground to put it back together. I set it up on the concrete just to try it out. I jumped all around the edges um, just to see how sturdy it was, and it's really sturdy. I added handles to the outside along with latches to hold it together and put wheels on the bottom so we could roll it around. Being it's two sheets of plywood, it's still awkward to handle, but once you put the wheels on it, it's pretty easy to push around. This is the first time we set the drum riser up in Tennessee on a pretty big stage. As for the skirt around it, I used uh, curtains from Walmart I think they were eight foot long by four foot wide and I cut them in two pieces and added a strip of Velcro on one edge and then the Velcro actually sticks to the carpet so you don't have to put the other piece of Velcro on the carpet so it's pretty cool and it just wraps around there real easy and I'm telling you this drum riser it just makes you show your stage presence uh, that much better. All in all this was a really cool build. Uh, really great addition to the band and it takes about five or ten minutes set up with two people so I hope this helps you out if you're looking to build a new drum riser <laughs>